Dave White with Quad City Safety. This is a topic that's come up recently a lot is when we move a material from the original container into secondary containment. A lot of times what we're overlooking is the fact that that needs to be marked. So when we move it, it can be a, a, a something that's meant to hold it, but uh, when we talk about hazard communication or communicating uh, whether you know how do we figure out what SDS goes with the chemical that we're on so if we spill it ingest it whatever that is how do we know what that is and how we need to treat it well that's where secondary containment when we mark it one of the reasons that I like this label here is as we can see is it has all the different formats that are out there so it has the traditional NFPA placard has the ability to name the compound it has the GHS pictogram, so the GHS is a globally harmonized system, which is one of the, the newest and latest and greatest out there, as well as the HMIS. So you have one label that, depending on where you're at and who, which industry and where you've educated your people to learn, you can mark a secondary containment in just about any format that you would like.